is something that people have always done for different reasons, maybe for trade, maybe because they were forced to or they had to. And it is such a luxury now to hike because we want to and because we can. And I think it's even more important to do it because we're free to hike. One reason I fell in love with hiking is because um, it's accessible, it's economical. It is just walking in a natural setting and very few people live in a place where they can't do that. I talk to people in New York City who think, well, we live in the city, we can't go outdoors, but they only live 34 miles from the Appalachian Trail. The Appalachian Trail is very special to me and it changed my life when I hiked it um, as a 21 year old by myself. And because I felt so close to that trail, I wanted to go back and experience it in a whole new way. For me personally, the trail was the first place I went where my mind felt at peace. I had the opportunity after several days and several weeks to work through a lot of what I was thinking, what I was hoping, what was bothering me, and then all of a sudden my body was moving, but my mind was still in this really beautiful place of acceptance and peace. And, and because of that, I think the trail can relate to anyone at any phase, no matter what they're going through. There's certainly been a progression of feelings on the Appalachian Trail, especially when I'm hiking by myself. At first it was courage or maybe, you know, naivety, who knows, but I thought this is going to be a great experience. And then a few hours into it, I was like, I'm really scared. I'm scared to be out here by myself. I went from being scared of being bored and lonely to just craving that silence and solitude. And again, I don't necessarily think that it's good or natural for us to always be around other people. Sometimes it's good to be away from it all and to have time by ourselves. It's as if the, the trail teaches you who you really are and then allows you to be your true self. And that's a lesson we all need to learn. Two things that are gonna make you successful out in the woods. One is to be really, really stubborn so that you don't just give up when it starts to get a little hard or a little uncomfortable. And then the second is to be completely flexible and willing to adapt and adjust because you're not in control. And those lessons apply off the trail too.